Hi everyone, I'm going to demonstrate to you the automatic balloon inflator deflator. I have here an empty glass bottle, but actually inside this bottle there is air. You cannot see it, but there are air molecules inside of this. And um, what I can do with this balloon is I can trap those air molecules inside. So when I put this on, air molecules are no longer able to get out or able to get in. So then I'm going to put it the bottle inside this boiling water and if you notice this liquid is actually um, expanding right now into a gas it's being heated by the oven and uh, you can see that it's starting to boil and you are uh, getting some steam or some water vapor coming from that so anyways I'm gonna put the bottle into the water and uh, we're gonna watch the balloon here and see what happens There it goes. So you have an automatic balloon inflator. So the balloon is inflated because the air molecules inside are getting heated by the water. So that um, movement of the molecules are moving faster since it's hotter now. And since it's moving faster, those air molecules need room to expand, causing the balloon to push out and expand the balloon as well. So I'm gonna go ahead now and take this out of the hot water and put it here just on the side to uh, cool for a sec. I do have some ice. I haven't put it into the water just yet. This water is uh, room temperature and it's just in a container. And uh, I'm gonna go ahead and kind of just gently put that in there. Now I can start dropping some ice into it. We're gonna try and cool the water here and uh, hopefully have, oh, there it goes. <laughs> so what's happening now is the bottle is um, getting cold, obviously. The air inside the bottle is getting cold. The air molecules are moving slower now, causing the air molecules to contract. Since they're contracting, the balloon has also contracted or has gotten smaller, which is the opposite of expansion. So right now I'm trying to make it actually a little colder than room temperature. If I can do that, oh, actually it's starting to happen. There we go. So if my cameraman can start to look at the top of the bottle. There we go. I'm actually going to go ahead and just uh, kind of set this down here and see what happens. Kind of start getting that cold. <laughs> has a tongue. Let's see. Maybe that will help study it a little bit. We can get a good shot there. Hmm. Sometimes this works very nicely. Right now it's not wanting to work so, so well. Oh, there it goes. <laughs> I guess it was just kind of stuck. So as you can see, the balloon has completely um, contracted into the inside of the bottle now. It was that cold. So you have a nice lovely hole on top of it through there. <laughs> and of course, like I said, this is an automatic inflator and deflator. So all I really need to do is put it right back into the boiling water and by the way while that's heating back up ice is an example of water being contracted so this is when it is frozen in the solid state but this is water contracting or it has gotten smaller the molecules have gotten smaller oh, there we go oh. <laughs> almost 
wait for it. Let's see. I, have, oh! <laughs> I got a little wet there. There was some water inside of it. And it's right back up again. Maybe. Yep. There it goes. <laughs> 